Hi boys and girls. I'm gonna read you to you today this book called Hey Little Ant. It's by Philip and Hannah Hoos, illustrated by Debbie Tilly. I love this book. It's really funny. Kid, hey little ant down there in the crack, can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe, can you see that? Well, now it's gonna squish you. Aunt, please, oh please, do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, don't make me die. Ooh. Kid. Anyone know that ants can't feel? You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small, I don't think that it'll hurt at all. Look how big he is. A little bit ant. Ant, but you're a giant and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close, I think you'll see. Now you are very much like me. Kid, are you crazy? Me? Like you? I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Aunt, oh big friend, you are so wrong. My nest mates need me because I am strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. Kid, but my mom says that ants, ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Do you think he's really a crook? Hmm. Ant, hey, I'm not a crook, kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my whole town. So please don't make your shoe come down. Kid, but all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me, they're listening too. They all say I should squish you. What do you think? Should he squish him? Let's see. Ooh. Aunt, I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? The little boy. Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with a raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? Hmm. The end. So what you could do if you would like to after listening to this story, you could write what you think the little boy should do. Do you think he should squish the ant or do you think that he should let him be free? Which would you decide?